To many of us, animals are the furry companions who we keep at home to give us some extra company around the house. But to some people, animals are a lot more than just pets. This documentary is going to look at some of the animals who are making a big difference to the lives of others. The Greater Manchester Riding for Disabled Association is a charity that operates from the Withenshaw Park Stables, Manchester. The group formed in 2007 with the aim of improving the lives of people with disabilities through horse riding. Riders are said to relish from the recreational and therapeutic benefits that horse riding offers. The GMRDA is run by volunteers who kindly give up their time to help people with disabilities learn to horse ride. Meet nine-year-old Neve, who attends horse riding sessions every Saturday afternoon with her father Damien. Neve suffers from hereditary spastic paraparesis, a rare hereditary disorder that causes gradual weakness with muscle spasms in the legs. Since joining the charity, Neve has benefited on a number of levels from her interactions with the horses. I've been calling horse riding for five years. I enjoy my horse riding very much. We decided to join Riding for the Disabled because Neve had a great love of animals. Um, the, the horses um, she, she was very fond of and I think she gets a lot out of it both physically and uh, in terms of progressing. I think Neve's benefited from horse riding sessions by increasing her confidence and, and physically being able to get to grips with larger horses. Neve's skills as a rider have continued to, to improve exponentially and also her confidence has improved a lot as well. I think horse riding does help Neve take her mind off her disability um, because it's something that other people can do so she can do it now and, and can do it quite well so whilst it might not be directly her thinking about her disability it is very positive for her to do it. The horses and the horse riding and the opportunity that our riders get to come to these sessions either on a Saturday or on a Wednesday um, really does make a difference in their lives. They really enjoy their riding. I as an instructor and volunteer can see improvements in their riding um, and for me as an instructor what I get the most enjoyment out of is seeing those, the smiles of the riders. I definitely think uh, my mind has changed over the last few years that animals are more than just pets. Um, I, I can see the therapy that they provide for, for kids with disabilities and, and it's amazing to watch the progress of the kids. As the sun sets at the Withenshaw Park Stables, it's clear that at the GMRDA, the horses play an important role in the lives of children like Neve. But they are not the only animals who have important roles. Meet Steve, Elaine and their search and rescue dog Boris. They're all part of the National Search and Rescue Dog Association, a voluntary organisation responsible for the training and deployment of search and rescue dogs across the UK. Search dogs like Boris are used to search for many different types of missing people such as hill walkers, climbers and the elderly. Today, they travel to the picturesque rolling hills of Ramsbottom to carry out a training exercise where Boris will demonstrate how effective he is at following the scent of a missing individual. My search dog is uh, Boris, he's a German short haired pointer. He's a scent specific search dog which means he's able to detect a single human scent and follow that scent to the uh, missing person. Boris is very unique uh, in search dog operations. He's the only trailing dog in England and Wales that's graded at the moment. The search dogs operate closely with mountain rescue, so we're operating mountainous and hilly regions and moorland regions throughout the UK. Search dogs are vital to the search operations we carry out, given that they can cover vast areas of ground and speed up the entire search process. Once the dog's in its work mode, we then introduce the scent of the missing person to the dog, and the dog will look around in the area using his nose to detect that scent. On detecting the scent, the dog will indicate to me that he's found the scent we're looking for. Following that, we will clip the dog using the long line on his trailing harness, and the dog will follow the scent to its source, which would be the missing person. We are confident in letting Boris do, it, do his own thing. He's been trained specifically to follow a trail of the scent he's been introduced to. Um, the motto for trailing dogs, and all dogs in search and rescue, is to trust your dog. Nationally, there are over 130 search dogs which are available to the public free of charge, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, in all weathers, and they will go out to assist the public at any time. 
Clearly, Boris is a very unique dog, who along with the whole of Masada does a great service to the public. He may be a working animal, but it is important not to forget that he, along with many other working animals, are still pets at the end of the day. Animals have, and always will be, beloved pets. However, it is clear that some animals have, and will continue to exceed their pet status in the future by providing helpful services to members of the public.